It's Saturday. It's November 4th, 2023. Uh, I was working all day um, at the store. And um, today being Saturday, there was something going on um, that the... Um, I started like I was just going through the register. I was just registering and checking people out and I was fine. And then all of a sudden something happened. Something breezed through the line. I don't know if it was behind me or in front of me. Um, and then I started like having trouble thinking almost. Um, not sure. There was no, nothing like there was no itches, there was no itching, um, whatever today, but there was definitely like some kind of, I want, I don't know if you say like a perfume or soap or something. And then all of a sudden I started like my eyes, I started having almost like temporary blindness having, um, I mean like, again, I didn't exaggerate the motions of it in the moment, but I was really having hard time focusing my eyes um it was like a temporary blindness um almost like your cell phone the glass um if there's like a small layer of something on it real briefly um it it still maintained translucency but the numbers the black numbers faded to such a visual reference uh, in pixels that it was really hard to pick up the detail. It just faded and the, the, the two color spectrums, the contrast just faded. It was contrast, really faded away. Um, that was problematic. Again, I was on um, aisle 14 today. They moved me. Um, and so don't know what that was about but the 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 event itself i mean everything seems very normal but then all of a sudden a change in the physiology um my antennas were up um but of course i mean it's just i know how this works i know how this goes and uh it just could be anybody so i'm relying on whatever does surveillance cameras of the area um, to know better than I on that. Um, and yesterday, which was Friday, um, again, it wasn't on an alcohol purchase. It was on something else. They came in, somebody came in, it happened twice that I, that I actually picked up on cognitively, um, where they tax exempt themselves just by a tap and pay. So, the normal protocol is there's a manager involved, there's a key involved. You have to like stop the line when somebody comes in tax exempt, they have to present a paper. For some reason now, they're doing something with the electronic system at the terminal where they're bypassing the manager and the cashier. They're not even alerting the cashier. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if that's if that's allowable, like I don't want to get in trouble, but I don't know. So I alerted the front store uh, manager, um, but it was so busy, fought like, I don't know, four or five people, like 15 minutes had gone by. So she wound up pulling the receipt. She found one of them um, and she had looked into it, but like, I don't even, it's not really clear. Like when do you escalate something? Is is it the store manager is supposed to tell the, or the front end manager is supposed to tell the store manager? Am I supposed to mention it to the store manager directly? Because it was something that I noticed and I was in. I there, There's no clear lines of communication at that level. So it's, it's a little diff difficult for me um, knowing that I'm observant, but you know, there's so much visual and sensory, um, things going on in this one particular store. Um, so I'm trying to stay as connected as possible. 
Um, but also, like, how do I keep myself safe, pretty much. So, um, so I just, it's noteworthy um, about the visual discrepancy and like the pixelates, like the pixels losing contrast in the ocular area um, from ocular to um, the gray matter of the brain, however, picks up and registers it on um, something in the mechanics. And, and it almost like knocked me a little, it, it wasn't, it was not an unpleasant odor, but it knocked me a little dizzy in, um, it was just disruptive neur neurologically. It was disruptive. I don't know what that was about. I don't know who it involved. Um, but again, I'm, I, I don't know if that's, is that a Homeland Security involved in that? Like, I don't even know. Um, even when I reported the tax exempt thing, I was concerned about, um, like I, and I, I mean, I'm credited for, um, my medical microbiology and that possibility in the nanotech world that it exists and there are people out there, um, so, I mean, I don't, and I don't know if the other, if the other layers of management, if they're that aware or if I sound like an absolute lunatic. So I, I don't know what to do about that. Um, but it is noteworthy. It is important that somebody's job function um, within the city and within government. I just don't know which one. Um, and then there was a gentleman, I had another problem, like a while back in the local area, the ambulance and police cars changed the photon, um, brightness of the lights. And it actually got to the point that when it flashed on the street, it became a neurological deterrent. Like it, it was, it they changed them to the level of stun, um, which I think is harassing the public, but I don't know how to report that either. I mean, I was doing my YouTube thing, so making a, a note of it, of all of these things. So um, someone came in today and the reflection of the laser um, in my eye, especially after this brief loss of pixel contrast it was just another like the the laser that I have to use at the gun portion for certain transactions and then somebody was shining oh uh, here's an exact uh, that this is a defining moment he was using a United Healthcare card on a cell phone and flashed it at me for me to scan it normally they come in with the tangible cards where you can physically hold it see it scan it and then you give it back like one of the loyalty cards this time they were using their cell phones in or he was using a cell phone in order to use the united healthcare the u card um and my my laser gun was not picking up on the barcode so i had to do it several times and it was it left me with an ocular impression of discomfort and it tempor it was temporarily um, stunning in the sense of disorienting. Um, not to the level where um, like loss of brain activity, but um, even like now my eyes are still hurting um, after that one particular incident. And then there was a couple of other circumstances that went on today. Uh, again, it's Saturday. It's a really busy day at the food store. Um, so it's just, it's noteworthy of what I'm witnessing, what I'm exposed to in what should be a very pleasant, I mean, like it's, it fits into the hours that I need for my son while he's at school and then it disrupts my weekend, but it's, it's important. 
Um, so it's just, and these things like this, the possibility of like a, a biological threat. I mean, it, at a supermarket, I mean, what is like, what's the world coming to is really where I'm left at like, the way I was raised is so different than the world that this all is in here and not necessarily the people. They're very pleasant in their mannerisms, but there are threats that seem very pleasant, but I am hypersensitive and hyper aware of the dangers that lie in any public setting. Um, so um, so anyway, so that's what's going on. Today's November 4th, 2023. It's a Saturday.